Hey everybody, Michelle here. So tonight what I'm going to give you is another Ab Blast class that you can follow along with me right away. So I want you to go grab a mat. And what we're going to do tonight is we're going to do one minute intervals of all um, stability um, exercises. So we're going to do planks, side planks, add some movement to those. So we've got eight minutes of work that you can do along with me. So get your mat and let's get going. So the first position we're going to take is a plank position on our elbows and your toes. And we're going to do plank intervals to kind of get the abdominals warmed up. So we're going to go 10 seconds on, 5 seconds rest. When you rest, I want you to fully lie down on your mat, completely everything relaxed. And then in that 5 seconds, you're going to reset your body by tightening your quads, your glutes, pulling the belly button off the floor, and then lifting up when that 5 seconds ends to go into your next 10 second round. Okay, we're going to do that for a minute, and then once the timer goes off, we're going to switch. Ready? Let's go. So set that plank position, down on your elbows, elbows under your shoulders, hands apart, palms down, point those toes. You're going to tighten the quads, tighten the glutes, belly button away from the spine, and I want you to lift up, and you're going to hold for 10 seconds. Okay, I will tell you where to go down. Keep the core nice and tight, shoulder blades back and down, belly button lifted. Three, two, one. One, fully rest on the floor. Let everything go, bring the position from the shoulders, quads tight, glutes tight, and lift. 10 second hold. Belly button forward, forward towards the spine, shoulder blades back and down. Keep the head nice in the neutral line, and rest. And we're going to do two more of those. Quads tight, glutes tight, belly button lift it, up you go. Third time. So we're setting the, the foundation to the rest of the eight minute workout. Three, Two, one, and rest. We've got one more of those to go. Tighten up and lift. Up you go. Good. Keep it nice, solid through the core. Five seconds to go. Three, two, and one. Rest. I want you to come over onto your elbow, and we're going to go into a side plank position. And we're going to do the same thing. So you're going to lift up. Ten second hold. Drive the bottom hip up nice and high. Good. Stay there and hold, and release. So again, we're setting that plank position. Lift up nice and tight, and up you go. Arm lifts, nice line from the top of the fingers all the way to the bottom, to the elbow. Lift, drive through that hip, hold it, and rest. Good. Take the quads, take the glutes, arm goes up, and lift. Three, doing good. Nice straight line, tuck those glutes in. Three, Two, and one, and lower. Good, you've got one more of those, and then we're gonna switch to the other side. Ready, and up you go. Good. Belly button pulled in, everything tight, glutes, quads, everything. Keep that top arm nice and lifted. Three, two, and one, release. Let's switch over to the other side. Get yourself ready, it's a nice quick transition. Up you go. Good. Same thing on the side. Shoulders in alignment. Drive that bottom hip up. You're doing good. Stay lifted. And release. Nice. Press down the shoulder. Make sure that bottom shoulder is aligned with that shoulder. Top, um, up you go. Sorry. Make sure the bottom elbow is in line with the shoulder. Okay, so then you're not causing any impingement. Doing good. Two, one, and rest. Nice. We've got a couple more to go. Ready? And lift. Good. Drive through that hip. Lift up nice and high. Five more seconds. And rest. Last one on this side. Ready? Up you go. And nice, strong, stable core. Hold that until you hear the beat. Three, two, and one. Good. Come on down. I want you to go back to your plank position. Okay? Come back down onto your elbows. Right here, this is our next minute of work. We're gonna drive up, we're gonna hold that there. And I want you to just alternate, lift and lower. Try not to move anything out in your abdominals or back. Just raising the leg up and down. I want you to go at a pace that feels comfortable for you. All right, keep going, lift and lower. 30 seconds to go, up. And back down. You should be starting to feel those abdominals firing. Keep going. Belly button to the spine. Try not to let it take it into your uh, back. If you're feeling your low back, take a break. 
forward. 15 seconds, you can do it. Keep those hands apart, shoulders back and down. Stay strong, hold it. Oh, you're almost there. Good, and release. I want you to come onto your back. <clears throat> Lie down, take your hands beside you, overhead, and you're gonna lift up into a full sit up, and then you're gonna roll back down. Lift up and roll. Take your time on the way down. Drive up and roll all the way down. Good. Think about articulating that spine one vertebra at a time on the way down. Lower. Exhale, lift. Inhale and then exhale to lower. Good. Keep going. 20 seconds to go. So we give your shoulders a little bit of a rest. Up. And then we're going to go into side planks again for the last two minutes of work. Up. Almost there. Last one, come all the way up. Good, you're gonna come down onto your side. Right here into that side plank position. Position, we're gonna do hip drop. So the top arm goes up again. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna drive the bump hip up and then come all the way back down. Light touch, lift and touch. Lift and touch, good. At any time, take a break, okay? Lift and touch. Try to lift from the hip instead of pressing down in through the elbow. Drive through the hip. And lower. Start to feel that right here. Lift and lower. Exhale, lift. Nice. Keep going. 15 seconds. Excellent. You're almost there on the side. Oh, I'm starting to feel those abs. Five seconds to go. Good. Last minute. Let's go other side. Same thing. Scissor those legs. Top arm goes up. Here we go. Drive the hip up and back down. Make sure you drive from the hip. Try to keep it out of the shoulder as much as you can. Lift from the hip and back down. Lift from the hip. Good. Exhale up. Inhale to lower. Doing awesome. Breathe. Never hold your breath when you're doing abdominal work. You always want to exhale on the exertion of the exercise. When it's hard, I want you to breathe out. Keep that going. Lift and lower. We've got 15 seconds to go. Lift and lower. Excellent. 10 seconds. You've got one more minute left of work, and then you're all done. Three, two, and one. Let's go back onto our back one more time. Come on down. Bring your legs up into that tabletop position. Line the knees and the hips. Upper body down, belly button into the spine. Alternate it to the top. So you can stay in this position if you like. If this is enough, I want you to stay here. If you can handle a little bit more, I want you to bring your arms up. Pull your shoulder blades into the mat. And I want you to stay there to the finish line. You can extend the legs a little bit more, more if you can handle it. But make sure that that position doesn't change. Belly button pulled in. This is our last exercise. Breathe. Doing good. Hang in there. Almost done. Hold it nice and steady. Keep that back on the mat. Good work. Hang in there. Oh, that buzzer is going to come pretty soon. Let's go. Finish strong. Breathe. Belly button pulled in. Be conscious of what's happening in that back. Nice and tight. And you are done. Pull those knees into your chest. Rock side to side. Give a little bit of a release through that low back. If you found that at any point you were starting to feel a little bit of pain through the low back, you might have to, should have taken a break at that point. But if you didn't, just do this right now and release any tension. Good. Rock and roll yourself up. Thanks so much for joining me again. I'll see you next week with the third workout.